Alright guys, so I'm going to be teaching you, or showing you how to install uh, Night Rider Kit 6.0 mod and to inst um, how to install the GTA 5. Uh, I'm going to make this very clear and simple as I can, so <coughs> step 1, get Open 4. If you don't have Open 4 or you don't know what it is, um, you download it, uh, look up some tutorial for it on YouTube, whatever. Once you have it, make sure you look at GTA 5's folder, whatever, and you'll be presented with a folder that looks like this. Um, you probably won't have this mods folder unless you already have mods beforehand, but just just in case you don't, um, it's it's literally just uh, you just go to your GTA 5 folder, and uh, there's not gonna be a mods folder, so you're just gonna create a new folder and literally call it mods, and it's gonna be empty, and you're gonna take the update folder, copy it and paste it right inside of uh, the mods folder. It's basically just a backup of your updates folder. Um, you don't you don't have to do it, but I highly recommend and everybody else does, so it's good to do it. Alright, so let's get started. So once you download the mod, you'll be presented, uh, as of current, right now you have flag prototype vehicles. So I'm gonna sc start off at kit 6.0. So I have a bunch of ruiner files here. What you wanna do, um, I'm gonna, you can use a Let's make this full screen. Just go to x64e.rpf. Oh, edit mode. I'll tell you about that later. Go to levels. Yeah, I know. GTA 5 vehicles at RPF. And in here are pretty basically all the cars in the game. So, you know, if you just double click on something, this is the blazer, you know. So these are all the cars in the game. So I'm just gonna go up here to filter vehicles and type in. RUI um, ruiner. Now, before you can mod or replace any files, you have to click edit and hit yes. So that'll allow you. Uh, that's fine. That'll allow you to replace any files in whatever folder you pick. So I'm gonna select these files. Oh, it's full screen. Just gonna drag and drop them, and uh, that's it. You're technically you're done. So now if I double click, oh, are you why? If I double click the fragment object, boom, it worked. Pretty cool. It doesn't stop there though, you still have a couple stuff left to do. Um, once you put it in the, this x64e whatever, you still, you still gotta go to, um, you should have a mods folder, make sure you go to mods, update, x64, dlc packs, Patch day 2 ng dlc.rpf x64 levels gta5 vehicles.rpf and once again you're gonna repeat the process edit mode uh, full screen again gonna drag and drop the files again and that's it you're done so you're done with that part you've got you, you got the kits uh, body the model in there um, but you, you're not done you still need the scanner so for the scanner, go to the new scanner system. It'll be two folders, open four, it's GTA scripts. I'm gonna start off with open four, and there's four files. Now where to insert, it's right here. No pet file, but I already know where to insert it, so just follow me. So go to uh, x64c, which is right here. Levels, GTA 5, props, LEVDES, LEVDES RPF, and all you gotta do is go back. Oh, yeah, I'm already in edit mode. Go into edit mode again, select the four files, and drag and drop. Again, you're done. So now you've got the scanner already set up. Now, last but not least, you are pretty much done at this point, but I did want to address this. Um, uh, in my in this video because I did not address in my previous video uh, this mod comes with car and uh, I had this this one I had the Serrano files but when you download the mod it's not gonna have the Serrano files the Serrano files are from username uh, username Smith um, the link uh, it's on the page it's right here somewhere zippy share whatever just download that and uh, it should contain the a folder or, or zip file that has car black silver but Sorano this that that and I'm just gonna quickly show you how to install that very uh, very fast so go back to uh, x64e levels 
GTA 5, Vehicles RPF, and search for the Serrano. Now I already have it installed, but um, it looks like this. Same thing, different scanner and voice box, basically. But I'm just gonna do, show you how to do it anyway. Select the files, drag and drop, and you're done. So um, that's cars installation. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it. At this point, you're done. But um, just a few things I wanted to point out. Um, if you're going to use this mod with the kit.net mod, uh, 3ID, which is uh, it's a great mod. I, I like it. There are a few issues with it, though, because it's uh, not, I would say, 100% compatible with uh, Night Racer's mod. Um, for one, I have noticed that um, when you open a door or get out, whatever, the doors tend to glitch a lot. Um, sometimes the door animation will simply not work. You'll just get out basically like opening an invisible door. Um, it's kind of annoying. I ho do hope 3ID uh, does address this issue. Um, I even left a comment here with Augur89 talking about it. Um, oh, another thing. The steering wheel tends to freeze um, when you activate the mod. Uh, basically, the steering wheel will not move. Um, but if you deactivate the mod, the steering wheel does move. Pretty really weird. Don't know why that happens. One more thing. The radio, uh, I don't know if this is me or anybody else, but for me, the radio just turns off the minute I activate the mod. Um, but when I turn it back on, I turn off, sorry, turn off the mod, the radio turns back on. Um, it's really weird. Um, I'm not exactly sure why. Uh, it, it could just be some sort of bug, a glitch with this, perhaps. Maybe the scanner. I, I really don't know. But, um... That that's that's it. Uh, you're pretty much done. Um, but so what I do uh, to avoid uh, a couple of the glitches sometimes, um, when you download the kit.net mod, um, when you put it in your folder, when you go to your scripts folder, you should have a scripts folder by the way with script hook blah 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 obvious stuff. Um, you're gonna have to you, you should have copied the K settings. It's in a configuration settings file. Over here, there is a any car option. Um, I've ch I've changed it to false, but uh, what I like to do, and I, this just makes it easier for me sometimes, change it to true. And what this does basically just uh, gives the kit's abilities to any car you're inside. You just hit the plus on your numpad, and it just activates the mod. Now keep in mind it does still have the door glitch and a uh, steering wheel, blah blah blah. Um, I I don't know how to fix that yet. Uh, I do hope he's uh, working on it. He, d he did say he's uh, going to release an update sometime this uh, month, maybe. Um, no plans as of right now, so that does kind of suck. But anyway, a uh, huge shout out to Night Racer, Sir Sorosa, and Tio, Tio Adrianovich for converting and bringing this mod over to GTA 5. Thank you very much. It's really awesome. really appreciate it. There are so many videos here um, of the mod in action. Uh, some mod in conjunction with the kit.net mod, some that just don't use it, really entirely, um, it's up to you. Um, and one last thing just before I go, to spawn the car, to spawn kit and car, you can, um, well, if you want to spawn just kit, you can use the kit.net mod to spawn him, or you can use the enhanced native trainer mod. Uh, I use it, I, I, it just makes it easier for me. Um, Cause when I spawn it with the kit.net mod, the windows are all black and you have to manually adjust them. Uh, the window tint in the trainer and whatever, and it's really uh, frustrating, not worth it. So I just use uh, a trainer. It doesn't matter what trainer you use, of course. Uh, I use Enhanced Native Trainer, but you can use the Trainer 5 or wh whatever it is uh, you want to use. So that'll do it for me. Um, I'm pretty much done here. Uh, you can do whatever the hell you want with this mod, go on rampages. Um, <laughs> it's really fun. Um, I will see you. If you have any other questions, you can leave them in the comments or you can leave them here. I'll try to answer them. And if I can't answer them, hopefully somebody else will. Uh, maybe Night Racer or any uh, Smiths. I, I don't know. But um, once again, uh, yeah. And at the time this video is uploaded, it is currently in 6.0. So if there is an update to this mod that uh, or a major update, I will make a new video teaching, uh, showing just to install that particular part of the mod. Um, and that's about it. Peace out.